Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll try to give you an overview of what is a VITN app. So what is the VITN app and what each fresher should know about the VITN app, all the important uh, features of it. So let's start the video. Now at first, I would recommend you to watch our video of VTOP review as a lot of features of VITN app is similar to that of VTOP overview and just to make this video brief and not to you know say the same points again and again i will just recommend you to first watch the video on vtop overview then watch this video if you want to watch this video i will provide a link to it in the top right corner and also in the description box so just go through our channel uh, watch this video and then watch uh, this vitn overview video it will help you a lot okay so first uh, vitn is the official app made by vit velour for the VIT Valor students. So you can download this app on your mobile phone. So the name of the app is VITN and you know, in the publisher, you can see that it is uh, published by VIT Valor. So moving on, let's see the features one by one. So once you open the VITN app, you will be in this page, which is the home page, which is basically your timetable. So as you can see, you know, you have various days and you know, the subjects that I have at various timing, uh, the class, you know then the timing and then the slot and then the venue so i'm getting a lot of doubts from students saying that they are unable to understand uh, the timetable that is given on vtop as i know it's very confusing to understand the slots and all so it's best that if you follow your timetable through the vitn app like every uh, vit seniors uses vitn app for the timetable and as you can see uh, next to uh, each subject, there is a percentage, which is actually my attendance percentage. Like, you know, I have 100% attendance in this subject and 91 in this subject. So once you click on a particular subject, let's say I want to see my attendance of software engineering principles, I will click on that subject. Then I can see a list of various days on which I had classes and when I was present and on which days. I was absent. So it is quite useful to keep track that whether your attendance is marked properly or not. Now, on the top left corner of the home page, you can see a menu option. So let's see what is in the menu option. Just a second. Yeah. So, in menu option, uh, it is quite similar to VTOP. So, first you have contact us. Uh, I will go through this tab in detail later, but just let me give an overview. So, in contact us, you get all the important contact details that you will be requiring. Uh, so of various offices, you can get the contact details. Next is Spotlight, uh, as I've said in the video, video as well, Spotlight is basically a virtual uh, notice board where all the important notices are posted. So you can check that out. You can check profile, you can check your own profile. Uh, biometric logs, so basically uh, when campus was open, we used to give our attendance to biometric, to our fingerprints. So just to verify that our attendance has been logged or not, we used to go through biometric log and check that. Academic calendar is quite similar to, you know, VTOP academic calendar where you can see uh, the dates for your examination and all. Next to your timetable, which is basically the same thing that we saw in the homepage. So this is the timetable. So that is there. Uh, grade view, once your semester is over, your grades are evaluated and then that is updated on the grade view. You can see that. Uh, marks, so you can take your marks time to time once so like your quiz and cat marks will be uploaded in marks view. Attendance calculator is one of the very uh, interesting and important features of VITN app and I will talk about it in great detail uh, later in this video. So watch that. Uh, next we have course page and digital assignment. I particularly feel that, you know, these features don't really work quite well on the VITN app. So I always use VTOP for, you know, accessing course page or uploading material on the digital assignment. However, one interesting feature of uh, VITN app is that you get notification on the day you are supposed to upload your digital assignment. So let's say on 12th, I'm supposed to upload a digital assignment. So on 12th morning, I will get a notification. That's why VITN app is also uh, quite useful. Next of exam schedule should be obvious. Uh, next of proctor. So like VTOP, you get your proctor details. You know, like his designation, you know, his name, his email address, his phone number, his Kevin number and all. Next of proctor messages. So in VTOP and VITN app, you get this feature where you can talk to your message of proctor. However, usually proctor prefer to talk over mail or WhatsApp. So, you know, just make sure whatever proctor is comfortable with. Next, we have faculty messages, which is again very similar to VTOP. Usually faculties uh, do use mail, but yeah, occasionally faculties do use uh, the faculty message. So do check that out occasionally. 
after uh, faculty message we have my faculty where you can check the details of your current faculty uh, like their name their designation their email address phone number cabin number and all next up in general vid faculty where you can search search for certain faculty by entering their name next you have hostels so we check the details of your current hostel room in the hostel tab next you have hostel leave so using uh, vid and app also you can apply for hostel leave students usually use vita you can use either view receipts should be obvious you can change the theme uh, there's a dark theme which is quite popular so you can check out that in theme feedback and support should be obvious logout option is always there anyway so now let's talk about each tab in detail first of contact us so first you have the contact details based on various issues you are having so if you are having issues related to your curriculum here will get the contact details if you have issues related publishing some paper or no sorry publishing uh, in grade fat examination you can check details over here and all you can you know just whatever you should have you get the contact details by clicking on that particular uh, division moving on we have spotlight as i said it is like a virtual notice board so you can get all the important notice in the spotlight tab now attendance calculator is one of the very uh, useful features of vitn app and which is you know quite extensively used by vitns so when you open the attendance calculator uh you can see your attendance of each slot like you know first you have the subject and the slot and the corresponding attendance and on the top you have the average attendance of course so you can see all your attendance now if you click on a particular subject let's say i want to see my attendance of this subject i'll click on it and then i can see the subject name the attendance and when i was absent or present and when i had my classes also the interesting feature is that here you can see the remaining classes that you need to attend in this semester so in this semester i need to attend 32 more classes of this subject now here you can see uh, options saying attend plus minus not attend plus minus so here i can see that if i bunk certain number of classes out of 32 classes what will be my overall percentage so let's say i'm planning to bunk next four classes i will click on not attend four times so now you can see the classes remaining will be reduced from 32 to 28 and uh, not attendant classes will be increased from 0 to 4 and then my attendance will be from 93 to 73 so there is that so which is quite dangerous like you should always try to keep your attendance at least above 80% so here by using this you can check that how many classes you can bunk in or how many classes you need to attend in order to have a good attendance percentage so there is that which is quite useful so i think that's all uh, so thank you for watching this video if you have any question join the telegram group the link will be in the description below uh in case if you have trouble or if you don't want to ask your doubts like publicly in telegram group or in the comment section you can ask your doubts privately to us uh, by dming us on instagram account uh, the link will be in the given in the description below so you check out all our social media handles for regular updates and to ask your doubts all the links will be in the description below also we will be providing and we are providing with academic content so for that please subscribe to our channel to not miss all of that and which will really benefit you and please share this video if you to a friend if you find it useful please like this video and until then i hope to see you guys soon uh, until then goodbye